once again on free code camp doing javascript algos and data structures we completed the basic javascript course you can find that on my channel all the lessons and we are now in es6 we completed the first lesson and now we are on the second we're going to mutate an array declared with const okay so if you're unfamiliar with const to check out this lesson essentially in the previous uh, basic javascript course where we learn about const but const is a deck is the Go to declaration for most cases in modern JavaScript. Some developers prefer to assign all their variables with const by default, um, unless they know they need to reassign the value. In that case, it's a let, right? So, as we learned in the previous lesson, var is kind of reserved uh, and is respected for its historic value to JavaScript, but we don't use var in any modern coding practice just because of the scope. So, we always const or let to declare variables. Um, so, read through this, tr attempt the challenge, but basically I'm just going to skip to the end and actually knock the challenge out. So an array is declared as const s572, change the array to 257 using various element assignments. Okay, so uh, I guess all we're going to do here is reassign this array uh, by changing its its changing the, the index that its values are at. So um, it, we, it does not want us to reassign like this, uh, or like this line where we just say s equals whatever and change it that way. We have to reassign each spot, it looks like. It wants us to use various element assignments, so we're going to reassign specific elements within the array to be specific values. Okay, so we want, uh, we have three values and they all need to change places it looks like. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do this, but realistically, if I'm just thinking out loud, this is how I would approach this problem. I know the two, so if we look here, we know the two needs to move to the front, the seven needs to move to the end, and the five needs to move to the middle. So we can probably just, I don't know, I think the best way to approach this would be to use a placeholder because all of these values have to change. Um, so we can just place hold one of them. So we actually store, like for example, the fives value. We can move all the other values around, and then we can just reassign the five to where it needs to go last, uh, just so we don't lose that actual value. And the reason that I would do it this way is because maybe, for example, we always want to mutate an array this way. We don't always have these same values, so we're not going to just be able to hard code in a five. Maybe we always get an array of three in, uh, items, and we need to just always change the order they're in. So in this case, I would do something like this. I would say, uh, so realistically, we're going to move these in order. Um, okay, so no problem. So let's, let's say s at index 0, so the 5, we're going to assign that to uh, let's actually say let temp equal s at index zero. So now we have temp as the five, and now we can just move all the other ones around. That's kind of what I was thinking. So we could say s at index zero equals s at index two. So now we're taking the zeroth index and assigning it to be the second value. So if the two is now where the five is. Okay, and now we just need to move the 7 to where the 2 is. And then we can say s at index 1. So that's the 7. Uh, actually, we want to grab 2. So that's the 2 now, and we want to assign it to s at index 1. So now we have 2, and this one is 7. And now the middle one should still be 7. So now we can just say s at index 1 is equal to temp. Okay, let's try that. Okay, cool. So that worked. So I hope that made sense on why I did it this way with the temp variable. Um, I think technically we wouldn't actually even need to do that with the temp variable. Um, but yeah, I, I think it makes the most sense to do it this way. And I, I tend to use a placeholder like that to store a value whenever you're manipulating all of the values in there. So you always have one that goes last and you can override that initial value and then bring it back later with the temp. 
Okay, so I hope that made sense. Uh, undo that, there we go. So again, we're taking temp, we're assigning temp to be five, and then we're taking the five and replacing it with the two, then taking the two and replacing it with the seven. So now we have two, seven, seven, and then taking the seven in the middle and replacing it with the temp, which was the five. So now we have two, five, seven, and that's why this works. All right, so I hope this made sense. Hope this helped, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.